Hey Skies Magazine, this is Kyle Fowler with Go Easy Aerobatics. We are at AirVenture and we're gonna go through how we load the pyro for our night show. So we developed this system and we debuted it at Oshkosh AirVenture last year. <laughs> This is the system that we built. We've made some changes along the way and we're gonna continue making a few small changes, but we're really excited with the night show that we've created and put together. So these are the pyro racks that we designed for the long easy. We've got it separated from, from the wing for safety. We're shooting about a, 200 shots of Roman candles. We're using 60 gerbs and a few aerials here and there to add a little bit of spice. We decided that we were gonna do night shows. We built the pyro rack, and then we decided that we wanted to do a theatrical routine. When, you, when you're doing a night show, you've got a captive audience, and, and you can really get creative with the theatrics. Uh, so we came up with this, Kyle is a Maverick space pilot that comes to Earth looking for a party, and Hank is his sarcastic spaceship that computer that says, I told you so, when the spaceship breaks down. And then we go through this whole process of trying to fix the, the spaceship, getting the crowd involved. So it's a very interactive routine. Uh, we're just gonna repack some of this pyro so that it shoots a particular way because we may or may not have some of the lights working. So we wanna adjust how the uh, pyro is firing. So the way we, we learned how to do this really was um, through the industry experts. I mean, like my my dad did night shows for a very long time and I remember helping him pack pyro. So I mean, I kinda had a good idea from him, but as I developed my own system, um, I really talked with the other night show performers and, and I would say all the night show performers really all the performers in the industry in general get along very well with each other so you know as i was developing my system um i would ask you know nathan hammond and bob carlton and ken reader you know what do you guys find works and and we all kind of help each other out you know it's friendly competition uh, it's not an exact science every time we sometimes we'll try new uh new effects for the, the pyro. We'll use different um, setups for uh, different effects. And then we just watch the, the footage and see how it looks. If it's something we like, then we'll do it again. All right. We always keep everything shunted. The only time something's not shunted is when we're actually wiring it into the board. But we keep a, a, a shunt right here, so once it's in, nothing should ever fire off accidentally and we don't plug it into the plane until we're sitting beside the runway so that should there be any kind of static electricity inside the aircraft for whatever reason uh when we plug it in if it is to fire off accidentally there's nothing critical there's no airplanes or fuel tanks or anything like that around us we always want to be safe that's kind of the the focus of doing this We've got this wired up in a way that this, our 38 millimeter is, is part of the, the malfunctioning spaceship. So it's wired into to zone two. And on the other rack, it's in the same spot on the rack, but it's gonna be wired into zone three because we want to, while the spaceship is malfunctioning, uh, there's a couple different points where parts are falling off the spaceship. So one on shot two, one on shot three, and and that's why it's, it, each rack is wired slightly different. So one of the really cool things that we teamed up with Artcraft for this electroluminescent paint. It's essentially paint on light. The paint's called Luminor paint. We've got it all over the airplane and it lights up like a Christmas tree for the night show. It's, it's really cool stuff. We use AC power that runs through a multi-layer paint and it just turns on and it makes the plane look that much more like a spaceship. So the paint might be a little bit dusty, but this paint scheme that we came up with on the Lumilor paint is intentional. This is a great way that we can describe and explain how the Lumilor paint works. The gray paint is the part that lights up the electroluminescent paint. 
The base coat of it is copper, then there's a dielectric layer, and then there's the Lumilure layer, that's the part that actually lights up, and then the clear coat on top. And all of the purple is basically the lead, so the base coat of the purple underneath it is copper paint. It comes all the way to the trailing edge here, and then we've got wires that go inside the plane. Uh, it runs off of some AC inverters, so the AC goes to here. Doesn't matter, positive, negative, because it's AC current. Uh, and then the power goes through the, the base copper, through the dielectric, through the luminolore, excites the luminolore paint, and then comes out the bus bar, which is the copper paint that goes around it. Thank you guys for coming along and learning how we load our pyro for the night show. If you guys want to learn a little bit more, you can follow me on my social media, Kyle Fowler with Go Easy Aerobatics.